Hi, welcome to this unboxing and quick analysis of this uh, educational uh, project. This is a Craze Pony Mini. Uh, this is an open source uh, quadcopter. It means that you have all the source code for the uh, flying controlling board as well as the radio transmitter. That's good. So you can modify any settings. Uh, this quadcopter uh, is including uh, NRF24 as a one for the radio frequency chip and uh, Bluetooth uh, compatible uh, RF ship as well if you want to uh, modify some settings or to fly uh, it with the uh, Bluetooth. Uh, there is also uh, compass parameters to uh, maintain the altitude as well. So uh, all most important ships are there and uh, well it comes in this box. So what you will find inside um, okay so here is uh, the contents so first of all, you have a very uh, small uh, documentation where uh, the link to crazepon.com is uh, indicated. Uh, in this one, you will find the basic instruction uh, how to fly your quadcopter, okay, and um, the different uh, steps to other. So what you will find inside, okay, a card, two a spare motors. They are uh, seven meters by twenty. And you will see paradoxically it could be a problem. So here is a quadcopter. Uh, so it's a main PDB1, okay. Uh, all the compounds are directly soldered on it. So for example, you can find on this uh, part, this is a Bluetooth ship here with this patch antenna and the NRF Elder 120 is here, okay, with this associated antenna, okay. So you have two dot four gigahertz antenna, one for the Bluetooth, one for the uh, NRF 20, 24 Elder 1. Here you will be able to find the ARM32 uh, main MCU, okay, the event sense for the six axis stabilization, and I guess around here you will find the uh, ship for the USB uh, to serial port converter. On the uh, bottom part, you will be able to find the uh, uh, barometer here, okay? Uh, you can notice on the bottom that each motor are attached to the main PDB thanks to the 1.25 mini uh, GST connector that's good for uh, a motor maintenance. But um, for 7 mm uh, motors, uh, the main uh, things you have to notice is the size of the prop. They are huge, huge uh, compared to other competitors, for example, for toys. Uh, it means that uh, they are uh, probably much uh, heavier than uh, other comp uh, com competitors. And it means that uh, the motor will stress much more to uh, let uh, them spin at uh, minimum spin to take off. So, in fact, uh, I can already say that it's not a really good idea to have such uh, biggest props is will be uh, not uh, very stressing for the uh, durability of motors for seven motors. So uh, as you can see, unfortunately, uh, the um, not bigger motor could be installed without uh, 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 drilling, enlarging the uh, PDB uh, PCB uh, to uh, welcome, for example, so 8.25 uh, millimeters. Uh, or less uh, morals. So it means that uh, the best option, okay, will be as soon as possible to uh, change these props to uh, a smaller one. It doesn't mean that it will be uh, uh, less efficient. It means that motor will spin faster, but less stressed by this weight of these props. Um, so uh, you have a lipo directly taped on the bottom part, ending with a micro LOSD connector, as you can see. And uh, as soon as you s install the power switch in CHG uh, position, you will charge the uh, uh, LiPo low, uh, battery, which is, uh, I didn't check that point, but probably a 500 or 600 milliamps powers. Okay, so it's a micro LOD connector. Um, what I can say more about this quadcopter, I can give you uh, the information of the weight. Okay, so for example, I will use this box as there. Uh, with everything, okay, so the total weight of this quadcopter is around uh, less than 50 grams, 48 or 3 grams to be more precise. So if you change the props, you will probably uh, gain 1 or 2 grams, okay? Um, the uh, shaft of the uh, 
motors are seems to be standard uh, one millimeters. Okay, they are completely standard cordless motor. What also you will find in this uh, box here is the radio transmitter. As you can see, it's really uh, similar to a do-it-yourself project. Uh, no chassis, okay, so be aware when you're working, uh, take it in hand and on the rear side uh, one cell cellular LiPo battery. One more time you will, you will have to use the USB uh, port to recharge the internal LiPo, okay. Um, you have some button there, some plus, minus and mode. Uh, the plus uh, is used to uh, uh, order the takeoff of the machine to start the engine. Okay, the minus is to use to uh, calibrate the gyros. Mode is probably to uh, change the uh, mode one and mode two uh, throttle. Okay, so for example, you have uh, the all sticks are auto centralized. Uh, it's associated uh, with the uh, uh, compass calib compass barometer. So by default, the altitude hold is uh, is active. So. Uh, if you have this uh, Bluetooth uh, component, you have also uh, a possibility to install the Craze um, Pony uh, software on your uh, favorite phone, for example, on your Android. So, uh, for example, you have to start this machine and you accede to this interface, actually written in Chinese, but uh, some of this button is to uh, uh, take off, for example, to launch the uh, uh, spin the motor, you have to press on this button, you have the uh, N3 here, the altitude hole here, okay, and you can calibrate zeros by the more external to the right, and you can, uh, if you want, fly your uh, quadcopter thanks to this interface. Um, so, actually, uh, even with the uh, uh, Bluetooth software, uh, you cannot disable the altitude hold features, so I know it's a very good one for beginners because it stabilizes the quadcopter, but uh, uh, if it's an open one, it should be uh, perfect to disable these features and when you want to activate it on the flight, it's a, a good thing, but actually it's not possible with the actual version of this software. One more thing, uh, the default PID settings are not fantastically uh, tuned, so it means that uh, uh, it's, uh, this machine is uh, offer some wobbles uh, uh, by default out of the box. Okay, so uh, probably you have to spend more time to tune your PIDs, but with the uh, uh, interface your, uh, uh, of your phone, you cannot access to this uh, setting, so you have to reflash or reprogram uh, and recompile the code to modify these uh, default PID settings. Okay, so um, one word about this uh, platform. It's a completely open one with common chips, and uh, uh, there is a guru in the uh, RC groups uh, who already uh, port uh, um, clean flight on this machine. Well, it, uh, clean flight is known to be a very excellent operating system well, for piloting a 32 bytes uh, ARM core usually, and uh, it managed to write the code adapted for this machine. Okay, I will make a video uh, to show how uh, the different step by step uh, to install this uh, software on it. And thanks to him, you will be able to tune everything uh, through the USB, okay, by plugging to your computer like any uh, real uh, uh, do-it-yourself racer. So it's a good news that now uh, it's possible to uh, uh, install clean flight and uh, he also uh, use the uh, V2X2 radio frequency protocol. So it means that you will be able to fly this quadcopter with a common toys or deficient ticks are compatible uh, 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 radio. So um, it's uh, very important because it will uh, increase a lot the capacity of this machine, but the original goal was to uh, access to this code and to modify everything, okay? So you can recompile it, you have to retrieve and give it, and uh, well, it's, uh, it's good news. And you have also the code of the uh, uh, receiver part. But I strongly advise to uh, shift uh, to the more uh, open one, to more to the uh, new uh, uh, clean flight version de developed by uh, Gobich, uh, this uh, guru user in SC groups. Okay, so um, I will uh, offer now some uh, outdoors video to show out of the box how he's flying this machine, and you will see that it's unfortunately not so stable. Okay, so my uh, conclusion is uh, potentially a very nice machine, but uh, the choice of such big props is probably K 
killing motors very fast. So I strongly advise to install more some uh, mini parrot model, which known to be smaller, but also very efficient and lighter than this model. You can also use some uh, GXD392 uh, models. They are also known to be good, or some just some 630. They are also the same. Uh, different type of props can be used, uh, but definitely some smaller than this one. Okay, so a very nice open platform. Everything is there. Be aware because uh, all ships are exposed, so to crash, etc. So maybe uh, or some to uh, humidity. So maybe uh, things to one day to cover this type of uh, the PDB with the, some. Uh, Electrical liquid tape to isolate uh, to avoid a uh, uh, if uh, it's an uh, it's uh, uh, going to water or some uh, humid grass, for example. Okay, I will end this unboxing and first glance analysis. Uh, see you next time on another video. Bye bye.